If you're looking to buy small to team coins, then go check out cheaputcoins.com. All the links are down below in the description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 5 cent discount on all of your orders, guys. They are cheap, reliable, and also have an instant coin service, which will get you a coins in around 5 seconds. What is up guys, G Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and today we've got a new episode of FIFA 15 Potential Player Ratings but this has been my part 2 of my BPL Silvers edition it features 4 very very good cards uh, so as always if you can have 1500 likes that will be greatly appreciated and in the comments below let me know what 4 players I should do in the next episode and click that subscribe button if you're new to my channel also in the comments let me know what gameplay videos I should do as uh, I kind of know what you guys want to see so let's get straight into this video Starting things off then, we've got Gilfie Sigurdsson of Tottenham. And the first thing you'll notice is the fact that he's actually not lost any stats, but he's gone up. And this is actually all based on the EA latest head-to-head -head update. So this is not my opinion. This is actually what EA have done. And uh, you may think that, why has he gone down like two ratings? But that is simply the fact that he's gone from a centre attacking midfielder to a left mid. His stats on card are actually more beneficial to a cam than a left mid, hence why the rating downgrade. But stat upgrades, there is a plus four dribbling from 71 to 75. Anything else, if, in my opinion, I would prefer him to be a cam. Uh, but if he was a cam, he would not be a BPL silver. And his stats last season, 35 games, 6 goals and 3 assists. And uh, I kind of feel a little bit sorry for Sigurdsson because he was actually very good for Spurs a couple of years back. The most impressive thing about this card though is the fact that it has 80 shooting and that would probably be one of the highest on a silver on FIFA 15 if he does a stays at 74. And now we've got someone on FIFA who's always been damn overpowered and that's with Darren Bent and as you can see he's actually gone down to a 72 that's a minus 6 overall on the latest head to head update and it features some like not really too bad downgrades actually only minus 2 pace, minus 4 shooting, minus 1 defending and minus uh, 2 heading so overall not massive changes and for a silver that looks pretty damn deadly. Like Sigurdsson, the best thing about this card is the fact that it has really, really high shooting stats for a silver. And uh, he'll be used a lot. Obviously, not as quick as he used to be. But he'll still be a very, very good hold-up player, in my opinion. And his stats last season weren't too incredible. 30 games, 6 goals, and 2 assists. And, um, I don't know, it's a still great-looking card. But over the last season, uh, well, two seasons, really, Darren Bent has kind of gone downhill. And now we've got one of my favourite silvers from FIFA 12, in fact. And that has been Nathan Dyer of Swansea City. And uh, again, like Gilfie Sigerson, there's not really too many stat changes. And the only thing that actually changes is the dribbling down by 1 to a 79. But the reason he's gone from a 75 to a 74 is because either in-game stats have changed a lot or the fact that he's gone from a right winger to a right mid. That can, again, reduce the players overall. And for Swansea last year, he played 37 games, getting 6 goals and 2 assists. And uh, again, like I said, FIFA 12, this guy was incredible. He had a ridiculously good in form. And hopefully he can get another one on FIFA 15. And finally, I have saved the best till last. That's going to be Scott Sinclair. Currently at Manchester City, but no one knows what club he'll be at next season. Because he's pretty much, he didn't do too well at uh, West Brom and Jalbion. And I imagine he'll go back out on loan again. Hopefully to someone like Swansea. As that's where he really did shine uh, a couple of years back. But overall, um, his hype has died down in the last like two years or so. And on FIFA, uh, FIFA 12, in fact... Him and Nathan Dyer were one of like some of the best duos you can get on right wing and left wing. Over Wiseau has gone from a 75 rated left winger to a 72 rated left wing. So quite a, a big decrease for what stats. He's had minus 3 shooting, minus 3 dribbling are the only changes uh, overall. And he still looks like an incredible card. He has 4 star skill moves as well. And hopefully his finesse shots are just as good as on FIFA 12. I can't remember if he was actually injured last season or not. But he did only play 11 games getting 0 goals and 1 assist. So then guys, all these stats are actually based off the weekly head-to-head -head update. Which was released, I think it's every Friday. And um, all of them are silvers on that. And usually... That does mean they carry it over to FIFA 15. So I'm really hoping all four of these are silvers as they're pretty damn good for BPL teams. And that is going to wrap up the video, guys. Like I said, 1,500 likes would be absolutely awesome. Check out cheaputcoins.com. All the links are down below in the description box. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 and come up FIFA 15 content. And let me know in the comments below what players I should do next. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.